Here we go. What's up, guys? Hey, How you what's doing? Up? <laughs> All right, let's do quick uh, intros. Uh, let's start with the keyboard section. Uh, my name is Ian McGuire. Um, I play piano. I teach piano. I play keyboards as well. Um, I went to school at the Berkeley College of Music. Where's that located? That is in Boston. Excellent. It's a great place. And I studied um, performance and jazz composition. Great. How about you? Uh, my name is Benjamin Carr, and uh, my main instrument is guitar, but I also teach piano and bass. Okay. And, uh, I studied jazz at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. In Pittsburgh. Um, that was your major? Yes. How yes. about your minor? Uh, I minored in physics. Excellent. That means you're a smart guy. I like that. I guess so. It shows you who you are. <laughs> uh, beautiful. But uh, Pittsburgh has uh, quite a jazz scene, isn't it? Melon jazz and... Yeah, definitely. There's great history there and you know, mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of good players. And okay, stuff, super. So. You guys are from Philadelphia area, somewhere in the, su in the suburbs. How long, how long have you known each other? Forever, okay. <laughs> All right, I must say that, uh, Ian, you contacted me through private lessons. I, I don't take students, but I was very, very curious. Yeah, I must have read <laughs> you. No, 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 but I was curious to, to work a little bit with a, with a jazz pianist. So that, that was excellent. So once in a while we get together and, and I help you out. Uh, so that's great. And uh, then apparently since you guys are friends and uh, uh, you told me that you wanted some flexibility and you just one after another kind of joined, joined into private lessons, you've been with us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like, I remember um, I didn't really know much about private lessons, but, you know, I was just thinking I, I really wanted to uh, find some classical teacher that could give me some, some sure. tutors. And this is without knowing about private lessons. I just did a search online, and that was the first thing that came up. And just went through, searched for it, and uh, saw you, you know, your picture. And the rest and, is uh, history. So here we are. <laughs> so uh, thank you. Th thank you for being our members. I know you've been a couple of years and moving on. That's great. Let's talk about some other very exciting things. You guys are in the same band. That's Introduce right. your band. We're playing the MJ Project. It's a, a four-piece instrumental band with tons of styles thrown in. I mean, we include jazz, some elements of classical, rock, okay. electronica, Great. funk, hip hop. Uh, how do you uh, contribute? Do you write your own material? Is it yeah. just original? Yeah, I mean, we all write our own original music. <laughs> I play guitar, I play piano, right. we play some drums. We've been doing it for. And you have a recent al album too, right? Yeah. Okay, that's great. And it's available uh, where? Website. Yeah, okay. yeah, on our website. Okay. On uh, iTunes. On iTunes, iTunes great. Uh, MySpace. Uh, well, you can MySpace. buy it. Okay, great. Um, there's MJ one Project. one thing, MJ Project, definitely. Um, one thing I wanted to touch uh, on is improvisation. Sure. Uh, and I know you guys, first of all, I listen to your music, it's fantastic. Thank so, you. heads up, beautiful. Talk to me about teaching improvisation, because I think um, obviously improvisation has structure. It's not a kind of totally free and no structure uh, kind of musical activity. Talk to me about this. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's one of the most difficult things to kind of teach you know, how to improvise. But, right. I mean, at least my, my way about it is you know, giving, giving kids or my students basically like, the framework of these scales or kind of chords or ideas. Right. Like, just doing it with them, you know, just improvising with them, you know, trading back and forth and trying to get those kind of ideas. So you're working, you're playing together, so yeah. they can actually get the feel for how it's going. How about you? Yeah, I mean, to, to be able to improvise, um, you need a certain set of tools. You need to understand what, what they are, how to use them, and you need someone to show you what you can do with them. And, um, you know, that's, I think that's just the key. I mean, understanding the basics, and once you understand that, that's when you can really liberate yourself and improvise and make stuff up on your own. Wonderful. So there's definitely a process to it. But, uh, to close out, well, guys, I just want to ask you one final question. You are playing up and down the coast. Uh, I talked to you a couple of days ago. You were just coming from New York, New Hampshire. Uh, what's coming up? Where are you going to be playing um, next? And uh, what other projects you're doing? Sure, yeah. I mean, we're um, MJ Projects hitting Philly pretty hard in the, uh, in the fall. We have like a residency coming up at the World Cafe, okay. and that's gonna be in November. Um, playing at the Tritone, Little Creek Tavern, a couple places like that, but we're gonna be out of town 
um, working on something in Boston um, for, you know, for uh, the fall and being up to New York, the New York City, Pittsburgh. For our viewers, I'll tell you what. Uh, keep posting those events uh, in your resumes because people are looking at that. And wherever you're playing, just keep on posting those events and, and uh, you'll find your audience, additional audience to your events. Very nice to talk to you guys. Thank you so much for coming down. Take care.